Ouroboros Laos is shaping up to be one of the most important upgrades in Cardano's history. And if you care about scaling, mainstream adoption, and real-world utility, this is a development you need to understand. In simple terms, Laos is the next evolution of Cardano's Ouroboros consensus protocol, the engine that keeps the blockchain running. And its entire purpose is to dramatically increase throughput without sacrificing decentralization or security. For years, the entire blockchain industry has run into the same wall. It's extremely difficult to push into thousands or tens of thousands of transactions per second without centralizing. Cardano believes Laos is the breakthrough that finally cracks that problem. To understand what Laos does, think about how blockchains usually work. Nodes spend a short burst of time processing transactions and validating blocks, and then they sit idle waiting for the next round. That idle time is wasted capacity. Laos reorganizes the workflow so the network can keep doing useful work even between block production cycles. It's like going from one cook making one meal at a time to a full kitchen staff preparing dozens of orders in parallel. It doesn't magically make one transaction instantly fast, but it makes a system capable of handling huge traffic spikes without slowing down. And that is the key difference users and developers will feel, consistent performance even in peak demand. For developers, that means dApps won't get crushed on the same day a meme coin pumps. It means gaming, DeFi, exchanges, and on-chain applications can run smoothly instead of unpredictably. For stake pool operators, the transition should be smooth as well. Most current hardware will still work, with the biggest change being an increase in outbound bandwidth due to more consensus messaging. IOG is building cost estimators so SPOs can check what that means for their setup before Laos goes live. Right now, Laos is at a major milestone. After a full year of research, simulations, peer-reviewed design, and prototyping inside IOG's innovations and R&D division, the project has officially begun handing over to the engineering team. That's when the real product gets built, the code that will run on mainnet. Along with this handoff, the team is launching a public development dashboard expected in the fourth quarter, where the community can follow every stage of progress, tickets, pull requests, milestones, what's being worked on and what's coming next. No vague timelines, just real visibility. As for when the community will actually see Laos, there is no official release date, but the expectation is that early components may begin appearing sometime next year. This is major infrastructure, so it's being built carefully, but momentum is strong and the roadmap is becoming clearer every month. The most exciting part is not just what Laos does, but what it enables. With four and five digit transactions per second becoming realistic, entirely new categories of applications open up, like real payments at checkout, large scale identity and voting systems, real-time gaming, enterprise workloads, and use cases we quite literally haven't imagined yet. The same way broadband enabled the rise of YouTube, social media, cloud computing, and everything we take for granted today. That's the scale of the shift Cardano is aiming for. In short, Ouroboros Laos isn't just another upgrade. It's the foundation for Cardano's next decade of growth. It's a serious attempt to solve the blockchain trilemma and deliver performance without sacrificing decentralization. And if it succeeds, we will look back at this moment as a turning point where Web3 truly leveled up. If you're excited about what Laos could mean for the future of Cardano, let me know in the comments. As always, keep moving forward in everything that you do, and we'll see you soon.